Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Eureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I am going to talk about Python Meta class. And before we begin, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to Eureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Eureka. And do check out Eureka's Python programming certification program. The link is given in the description box below. Now let's take a look at the agenda for this session. So I'm going to start with the introduction to Meta class in Python. And after that, I will discuss type in Python and then I will discuss how we can create a custom meta class in Python. And to sum up this session, I'm going to discuss a few differences between meta class and a decorator. I hope you guys are clear with the agenda. So without any further ado, let's begin this session. What exactly is meta class in Python? So meta class in Python is a little advanced concept to start with and it basically revolves around changing the behavior of the class and how you're going to use the class attributes a little knowledge about classes and objects is going to be needed to understand meta class in python so you're going to have to learn about what exactly are classes and what are the objects and how do you create a class and how do you create an instance of a class and you know all those things so if you're new to this concept of classes and objects and if you're just beginning out with python programming and you don't have any idea how classes and objects work I suggest you to refer to the classes and objects tutorial that we have on our YouTube channel and after that you can come back to this session. Also we have a full course tutorial so it wouldn't be a very you know difficult task to go there and come back here again. Now moving on I'll give you a little background still. So what exactly is a class? Class is like a constructor that we use in Python to create objects. So basically what the outline is we have classes which we are using to create objects and now you must be wondering what are objects why are we creating classes just because we can create objects right so object which is also known as an instance of a class is basically used to access the attributes in a class so when i say a class it's basically you know we are creating it to create an object but inside a class also we have so many attributes Attributes could be anything. It could be a variable, you know, where you have different data types. It could be an integer, a string, a list, any number, or you know, even a tuple or any other data type that we have. It could be a function or even a class as well. So these are all the attributes that we have in class. Now to use those attributes or to access those attributes, we have to create the objects or create the instance of a class. And also when we create these instances, the method of creating an instance of a class is known as instantiation all right so this is a little background on what we are going to use which is classes and objects so now coming back to the topic as we all know everything in python is treated as an object and even a class for that matter is treated as an object in python so it's basically all about the instances now since a class is also an object which means that class was instantiated from a different class so when you are creating class and we're saying that it's also an object what we are actually saying is there is another class which is being made or which is already there from which we are creating another object. So this class is called the meta class. So I'll explain it better with the example when we're working on the Jupyter notebook. So don't worry guys. So you know guys we have a class and we define all these attributes or we define the behavior of how the instances are going to behave. Similarly, there is a meta class which has, you know, basically defined the behavior of any class that we are declaring in Python because it's an object. So we're going to talk about this later on in the session. But before that, let me just talk about what exactly is type class. And uh, type is basically the meta class, the meta class that we have in Python. And the instances of type are the class that we use in Python. So basically, the object of the meta class that we have in Python is the type class. So whatever object that we have in Python is basically an instance of the type class. And type can also be used to create uh, classes dynamically. You know, if you're just giving one argument, you're checking the type of the you know object, or if you give it the three arguments, you can use it to you know dynamically create a class. We're gonna see that in a while. So when we are creating a class, it is basically an instance of the type class. We have cleared that. So this actually means that whatever behavior the class is actually bound to is defined in the meta class. 
So let's go ahead and go to Jupyter Notebook guys and we'll try to understand how it all works using also the custom meta classes that we have in Python. All right, so we are in Jupyter Notebook guys. I'll rename this to meta class. So first of all, let me just uh, declare a class guys. I'll name it as Edureka. All right. So this is a very simple declaration of a class how we create a class in Python. Now to create an instance of this class, I'll create an object. Yes. When I write a I'm getting the sir uh, main dot edureka and when I check the type of a it is main dot edureka which is the instance of the class. So when I'm checking the type of the instance of the class it is giving us the class value. Now if I check the instance of edureka which is basically the class here it will point me to type. So this is basically what we have to understand here. So our class over here is an instance of type class guys. So if I check type of any data type, let's say I want to check the type of a number. It's going to show me that it's an integer. If I check for any string, it's giving me a string data type. But if I check for string, it's giving me a type. So this is the type class that we have over here, which we can also use to create classes dynamically. All right. So okay, let's see how we can do that. Let's say I have a type now to create a class using type. I'm going to have to give three arguments. So first one is going to be the name of the class. Let's call it as Python and uh, this is for the basis and this will be a dictionary. All right, so I have created my class guys. Now I'll check the type of a it will point it as a type and if I check the instance of this class it is so main dot Python. So this is how we can create a class dynamically and you know this basically the dictionary that we have over here is uh, to give any attributes. Let's say a variable with a value 10. Now I'll create an instance over here. So this is how you can use it to access these attributes. Now let's say my class's name is Python. Can I create the instance like that? So name Python is not defined. That is why we're getting this arrow. All right, so I can only use it like this and this basically here, which is basis. So this class over here, Edureka. So let's give it some values. Now I'll do here is so I'm giving it a comma because uh, this is supposed to be a tuple and now using the instance of this, I can actually access Y as well. So I have inherited the base class over here, which is basically nothing but the Edureka class. So this is just to show you, you know, how you can create a class dynamically using type. Now, obviously, I want to show you how you can create a custom meta class in Python, guys. So before we begin with the custom meta class in Python, we must get a brief insight about what uh, are the new and init dunder methods or special methods, also we can call them as. So these methods are basically used to define custom meta class in Python wherever a class is instantiated which means that you're creating an object of the class that whole process both these methods are being called. So new is basically called when the object is created. So when you create an object new will be called and in it when it is initialized. So when you initialize the object in it will be called. And now let's go back to the Jupyter Notebook and we'll go ahead and move on. So I'll just tell you quickly how you can create a meta class. Now to create a meta class, what you have to do is, okay, let's say you have a class, we'll write as meta only. So you have to write type over here and uh, okay, we'll just do nothing for this. And now one more class will have, uh, uh, let's say, we'll call it as a Eureka. Now over here, this is where you have to write meta class is equal to meta. Okay, now to check whether if it's pointing to our custom meta class or the type class, we're gonna have to check for the instance. Okay, so we'll check for the type of Eureka, and it's showing that it's basically an instance of the meta class that we have created. And when we check the type of uh, the meta class, it's going to point to type. But then again. We have created a custom meta class because this basically the class that we have created right now is pointing to the custom meta class that we have created. So now I'll incorporate the init and new method 
and I'll just show you how you can work with meta classes. So now what I'll do is I'll create another class. Let's call it as meta two and type over here. So instead of pass, now I'm going to define a function. Let's call it as init and all right, guys. So in it, if I give it a return statement, it has to be none because in it returns none, guys. And now using this, I will create another class. Let's call it as Python and meta class is equal to meta two. All right, so it's showing that in it takes one positional argument, but four were given, right? So And instead of this, uh, let's print something. All right. Now, when I create the instance of the class, you know, when I'm initializing the object, in it will be, I'm initializing the object. All right, guys. So instead of this, we'll replace it with pass for now. And uh, okay, I'll just show you what I've done. So now when I create the instance of my class over here, which is basically I'm initializing the object. I am getting the print statement this over here. And if I return something, uh, let's say this, I will get uh, an error which says in it should return none, not a string. So we can only return none using the init statement or the init method over here. So this is all about the init method. Now I'll show you how we use the new method guys. All right. Now new takes one positional argument, but four were given. Okay, so probably we'll have to. Okay, none type object is uh, not callable. Okay, because uh, if I remove this now, it should be working fine. Right, if I remove this, I am getting the output as hello again. So as soon as the object is created, we are getting the value hello again because uh, new is being called since this is an object of this uh, meta class. Uh, we're basically getting this output. Now instead of this, let's add a print. Okay, so we'll add x is equal to 10, y is equal to let's say 20. Right, and now I create an object. Okay, we have a type error guys. All right guys, I think I figured out why we're getting the error. So in the return, now after this using a. All right guys, uh, so we'll have to make a few changes over here. I think, okay, let's try to print the attribute. So we'll get a clear picture. Okay, so we do have these values, but it's not here let's add that over here now we are getting the values over here so basically the attributes have uh, this module the main the call name and uh, which is python then we have the attributes x y and this is how we have just created custom meta class for us guys and this is a very basic example to get started with because uh, as a beginner i would not suggest you begin with meta class or meta programming because it's a very complicated process and uh, so this session is basically to get you acquainted with how meta classes are and how these work how you can create a meta class custom meta class and uh, you know give you the basic idea of uh, how classes are using the type meta class this brings us to the end of the session guys but before that now I'm going to talk about decorators as well so if you have a vague idea about decorators it's basically doing the same job as a meta class would do but there are a few differences that I want to talk about. Now, when it comes to decorators, decorators are quite simple and they're quite limited when it comes to the implementations because you can only do so much with decorators. But with meta class, it becomes quite uh, plausible when uh, you take a look at the possibilities and um, basically anything that you can do with a decorator, you can do it in a custom meta class also, and the functionalities would differ. So a class decorator is uh, not very far from how a custom meta class is used. 
and uh, there are a few things that are different from one another like uh, a decorator would return the same class after making changes which is um, for example the monkey patching we basically use the meta class whenever a new class is created and uh, decorator quite a bit lacks the flexibility and meta class on the other hand provides much more flexibility and customizations of classes and uh, decorator isn't always compatible to you know performing subclassing and uh, Meta class on the other hand provides subclassing by using inheritance and converting object methods to static methods for better optimization. So this brings us to the end of the session guys. And if you have any questions on Python meta class, you can mention them in the comment section below and you can also tell us what topics do you want us to cover in the upcoming sessions. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And do check out Edureka's Python programming certification program. The link is given in the description box below. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!